the city of light. Black and blue Indeed. take over! Where's Puzzle Joe? Where's Puerto Rico? They're in Puerto Rico land. Puerto Rico celebrating our brother Stan's wedding. Much love to Stan and his lovely wife. Not yet, he's getting warmed up. He's getting warmed up. He must be warmed up if he's getting married. He needs a headset. No, I mean... Hold on, hold on, hold on. For the party. Oh. not celebrating oh. yet. Yo, wait, wait. This is always warmed up. Somebody, you guys got to clear out. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. I, I agree with that. Thank you, Dan. Hi, Dan. Wait, I got a microphone. I get to stay. Hang on. Uh, we got the mob in here, here, literally. Hey, Joey, I know yeah, you're I cursing me out. right now, but it's your fault because two minutes before I had to do this radio show, they handed me the CDs, and there's only one copy of each fucking CD. Oh, I'm saying it's real dusty in here, bro. We were going back and forth about that. You want to run the list? Yes. On the list. Welcome to the 154th episode of this crazy it's a show. As many shows as Stigma's been alive. There you go. <laughs> you heard. Where is he? Faction, friends and enemies, Reagan youth with Reagan youth, trapped on the rise, jail, anti heroes with Sunset Unlimited, the mob. That's it. Youth of the day together, and we kicked it off with Quicksand East Third Street. Hey, Lawrence, you just came back from. Uh, Belgium. I did. Your homeland. How yeah, was it? Bring waffles. It was good. I went to the uh, Groose Rock Festival. The Groose Rock? Groose Rock. Groose Rock. Groose Rock. Groose Rock. 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 Yes. So, we saw, I saw Hazen Street, which was great. Uh -huh. cool. Did you get any Brooklyn Larrys? I've been on Hazen Street. No, I didn't actually. Uh, I didn't. Damn, I was a disappointed. And then I saw Ransom, which was really good too. Well, For those of you people out there that don't know what Hazen Street is, it's the street that goes to Rikers Island. <laughs> Rikers Island is an island that you don't want to visit. It's not like Coney Island. You won't be smiling in Rikers Island. Yeah, I'm Jack. Yeah. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. I'm Jack. That's, that's where kids will play ball. But the other place is where you play They used to curse at me and I would be going to my, my game. That's Jack Friday good laughing, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have the mob here. Say hello, fellas. What's up? What's up? Yeah. 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 Does this work? We got a microphone. In continuation of the shows towards the Super Bowl, tonight we'll have the mob. We have Tim from Bowl. And Ray from Youth of the Day is going to call in. Call. call in. Call in. That's magic. He couldn't get in. Call in. Uh, Ray from Youth of the Day is calling. He couldn't get in. Couldn't get in, man. Right? Yeah, yeah, I got Come all the way from Jersey. Wow. From Philly. No, That's a hockey thing. Ralph, you know, so Ralph didn't want to talk today. He didn't want to be interviewed. No, no, no. So he figures, you know. I wanted Chrissy to talk, but we're Jack's going to talk shit. We're going to talk to We already yeah. know each other. Shout out you know? to Freddie. We know what to say. A little bit. Crew, you got to tell everybody. the people to listen. So Jack, what's, uh, Jack, what's going on with the, with the new, uh, new mob record? There is a new mob single and uh, it will be out digitally. It's also coming out uh, June 19th on vinyl. On what, what label? It's on Weathermaker uh, Music, which is the label that um, I run with uh, the guys from Clutch. I've been dying to ask this question. Is it crucial, styling it's, boss? Ralphie has to answer that one. It's crucial! <laughs> hey, did we just hear a taste of that? Yeah, we heard a taste of that. Wow. That's it. And no, it's, you know, we, it was like, oh, we're going to get in the studio and we're going to practice. Because we're going to, you know, we're going to be really good at this. We're going to practice. We count, we count. You know, this, this is, is no slack operation we run. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we got to cook crap old school hardcore. Yeah. Uh -huh. So we said, well, if we're going to go into the studio, we might as well have something to show for it. So Ralphie wrote some lyrics. Uh, we retuned the guitars a little bit, and we said, let's put it out, because that's what we did back in the day. We might as well do it now, too. Vinyl. Yep. On vinyl. 45. Yep. thousand yeah. units. That's it. Well, I've heard you guys, uh, actually, 45 minutes before you set, you're all going to take, like, three hits of Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a thousand units. I thought he was going to say... Uh, that would be weird. Ecstasy. Oh. Same thing. Or Vicodin. Oh. I need Vicodin! Oh. Right down the corner. I'm kidding. So are, we, are you going to sell those vinyls at the, at the bowl too, or? Listen, we, right now we're supposed to have them at the Super Hardcore, but right. you know, listen, have you ever spoken to someone that prints vinyl now? Oh yes, oh, there's yeah. this we lady, do it too. There's it, this lady. It takes Beth. like takes like ten ten months to get it done. There's this lady Beth. God bless her. She's in she's in Nashville. I swear she printed Elvis's records. <laughs> you know, and trying to talk to these people and get some dates out of them, it, it's it's insane. Because right. it's vinyl, it's like you can't tell them what to do. You can't, you can't say, "Oh, we need this rushed and this we need it for this date." They're like, "Well, hon, you know, w yeah, we're going to get you the lacquers." <laughs> yeah. Is there an album going out too, or just no, 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 oh, no. just the single, just the single. Well, uh, the, the song that we're about to intro, everybody. It's funny enough that you guys wrote this song because today is uh, the day that I just I'm moving back to Queens. Sorry, I'm Me moving too. back to Astoria, Queens, from from Brooklyn, Greenpoint, which all respect and love to my friends there. But 
This is the right Queens. Yeah, Queens is where it's at. And this is a new mob song called Back to Queens on the Black and Blue Takeover. Thanks, Jim. Jimmy Stoppo here from the infamous. Jimmy's going back to Queens. Jimmy's going back to Queens. Back on back to Queens. I did a song going back to Cali with Isaac once too, but I never went to Cali. Oh, we made that. He did. He did. Uh, he did. Yeah, he did. I like Queens. He's from Queens too, by the way. Speaking of Queens, guys. old with people. I, I, that's the Ramones, Reagan Youth from Queens. Crowd. Crowd. Yes. Uh, major conflict. Oh, major conflict. LL Cool J. LL Cool J. Smiley Moore. Nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Jack, Jack, Jack. <laughs> yes. back, back to Queens. Back to Queens. So, I'm listening. How long ago? Yeah. Was it that you guys recorded the song? Oh, but well, what's the time gap? Yeah. 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 What do you mean? Like when we recorded it, like it was Dog Easter. No, 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 no. This. Yeah. This. This is a new recording. Yeah. But was the last time? When was the last time we recorded? Uh, the What's last the time we recorded. Oh, the gap's got to be ten years. The last yeah. thing I think we did was Tommy Gun. Ten year gap. Wow. Free internet. Gun. Jimmy was on that shit. Yes. What'd you do? Hate yeah. more? I've been on all kinds of shit. He's done. <laughs> no, no, no. Who the hell hate more on that? that you are, Jim. Hey, we just got a phone call. Jose, we got Jose from the mob, the bass player of the mob. Jose, we got a call. Smoothie called. He said he's got you 50 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for smoothie. Smoothie. You ain't ready for smoothie. Let me, let me run, uh, let me run yeah. through Ten these years. songs real quick. Ten years. Let me run through these songs real quick. After, after the mob, we had Hitler's. In the charts again from the exploited and hit list from setback and uh, no we uh, close it off with war. Warm. Good of you. Yeah, Gord just finished up there. Uh, uh, war. Uh, war. Uh, war. He said whoop, 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 whoop. It's like whoop, 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 whoop. whoop. Hey, what, you, what was it? Three days ago, Gord just finished their uh, spring tour. Yeah, so Big everybody who's listening, Jack also manages war. Yeah, we love Gord. They rock you. The best thing I've ever did in my life was to oh. jump in and, and work with Gord. What about the mob? Jim, Jim yours is the first. It's, oh. you, there's oh. nothing like your first one, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. you know, That's come what on. she said. <laughs> The, the, that, 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 there's no, yeah. there's no words to describe yeah, yeah, yeah. that. No, but yeah, the Guars, uh, they just finished yeah, up and the uh, they're doing really well. They're back down to Richmond. They're going to get uh, their barbecue together. Barbecue. The barbecue together. They're going to uh, go out in the fall. So, uh, enough about them. How about more about the mob? Yeah. Yeah. How about that? Guars meat. Everyone wants to eat Guars meat. Everybody wants Guars meat. So, yeah, Jimmy, we got. We have uh, Chris Hackett here. We've got Jamie Shanahan. Oh, we got actually Christ. Sid the Kid. Move for a second. Let's give hey. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That's the best thing <laughs> I heard all day. <laughs> Sid the, the Kid, move. One of the, you know, 1980 bands. We still have all original members. I say that's crucial. How about that? <laughs> crucial. And, and we have your official party. The watering queen. Uh, of course, the watering queen. Step forward. 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 First song I've heard by you guys. Is that the first time someone uttered bust it in a song? Uh, oh, well, who gave this guy a mic? Yeah. I just say, I just say, yeah. no, he's right. Though. I'm just kidding. Is that the first time? Uh, yes. I, I, well, I, Jimmy may have yelled it 50 <laughs> times before that, but yeah. we did it on a record. <laughs> all, all things like that are courtesy of the uh, HR posse and, and uh, bad brains as a whole. Busted, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have many band. Uh, I was in HR's army. Once. Yes, boss was Jerry Williams, though. That's yes, that's yes. right. Like Jerry Williams. Jimmy has his history. Uh, perfect. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Jack Slanigan, where's my slam name? That's what yeah, Jerry yeah, Williams used to was, was, was say to me. Name. May rest in peace. God bless oh. So how are you guys? How are you guys looking for playing? Oh, forget about it. It's going to be big. And listen, uh, cousin Joe got us a sweet spot. And big up again to Black and Blue and Freddie and, and Jimmy and all you guys. For he didn't get me no sweet. 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 I got a single. They're getting us a really crucial yeah, spot on it. That's cool. So we're not going to disappoint. I mean, we're going to play the first two records that we have. We're not going to play any of the any of the crap when we start to get like into metal and the wah wah pedal and all that. We're going to go straight with the first two singles. I like how you put that. That was good. What do you mean? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do the first two singles, and we're going to you know we just, we were going to try and do them you know in consecutive order like it was just like the single, but it's not going to work out like that because. All the fast ones are at the beginning and the slow ones are at the end. It's too crucial. Yeah. No one can answer. So what do you want to hear, Jimmy? CDF 101, oh, crucial ZDF. point. That's we're, what not you're gonna gonna do, we're not going to do ZDF. See, that's not on there. Oh. Yes, we are. No, we're not. Wow. Uh, there we go. Right. Right. Band I five. added it to the list. <laughs> <laughs> Band band five, five, figure out this set list. Let's not do this here. We're doing ZDF? I don't know, Jack. I think we are. I'm only a character. You used to play guitar on ZDF. 
But it wasn't with your hands, it was with your head. I used to dance. Oh yeah, I did do the slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he still dances. <laughs> dance. Only when the disco's played. Yeah. All right, listen, we're gonna play some more music. We have right. somebody calling in a little serious. bit. Yeah, we're, we're gonna, gonna give out. away a couple of tickets. Sure. Super Bowl. To the ball! Yes! Part of the show, and we're the gonna ball. give a couple away. To give the away ball. more because the kids are asking for tickets. Uh, well, Let me I'll, finish this. What I want to do is, I, I want to, I want to somehow. I'm gonna donate this test pressing to Black and Blue. The this, I got the test pressing here. I being you, the Jimmy representative. Have, Jimmy being the representative. <laughs> You can ha you can have this test pressing as our token, uh, a show of our appreciation to Black and Blue. I'll put this in our archives. But you got it. There's there's one there's one uh, catch. You got to play it to see if it works because I haven't heard. Wow. Yeah, we're, gonna, well, we're gonna work on that we'll during the set. We're, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna fire up the turntable. They'll do it. It's already in the truck. We're gonna fire up the Victrola. Yeah. In Run the meantime, write down the number two one two two five four seven one zero four. That's two one two two five four. 7104. We're going to give away two single tickets. Don't call until the music starts. When we come, we're going to come back in. We're going to have one, uh, another caller related to the ball. Huh? That's it. Hey, you know what you're listening to? The Black and Blue Takeover! Yes! My name. So this is trauma! All the Bust way. it! No! Hop. No more! Yeah! Yeah, Danny Burns. Nice mix, man. This dude's in the Maytals. That's all just for sure. Drake ain't got soul, man. It's for that power trip. The evil beat. For that trauma. No hop no more. What's it supposed to say? No hope no more? No hop no more. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't. No I, hop I, no more, man. <laughs> and before that, we're at war. That ain't a lie. Over the view. But no no hip hop no more. No hip hop no more. Whack. No hip hop no more. Whack no, shit. No hop hop no more. We have more guests tonight. We welcome more guests. More guests. Who are we welcoming tonight, Lawrence? Well, Larry. Introduce yourself. This is very uh, formal occasion. I'm Drew from Bowl. And this is the only time, Jimmy, I've ever seen uh, Bowl next to Toots in the Maid House. I think the last time I ever will. I like this. Well, it could be a European festival. <laughs> that does happen. Right? It does happen. And he brought Tim, too. Yeah. And we're waiting for a special phone call from the special we're, 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 We'll talk, you know. Right, we brought oh we brought Bold in because we're doing, you know, this year we're, we're doing, doing bold the, things. We're doing the after oh, show. Oh, it's Bold. Or is it Bold? <laughs> bold. Oh and Bold. Anyway, we brought Bold in because we're doing the official Super Bowl after show the next day. That's right. Look, what day bold is, is headline. That's uh, Sunday. That's the Sunday 20th of May. 20th of May. After Good church. Have to listen, I'll be playing with Bon Jovi. I'll, I'll be there. there. I'll be there right after church. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't get out of here. Then we're not here for me. We are here for me. I'll I'll fuck everybody. John Bon Jovi. We actually all play bamboo. Well, I'm going to see you play. Bandan, Bandan, John Bloney. My mom and her friends are coming. <laughs> so Bold, Bold is playing it's the sponsored big... by Aquanet. <laughs> yeah, right. Be serious. Yeah, right. Let's right. get serious, guys. Pete, Pete Serious isn't here right now. Well, I'm, I'm taking over. Be serious. <laughs> Bold is playing the big Revelation shows, and you know we, we reached out to them, and they were really excited because they, they, they wanted to play New York. Before going out there, yeah, we needed a, a little warm-up session, and that was it. Really worked out well, Lawrence. Man. Yeah, we're, we're really happy to have you yeah, back. Yeah, you know? be good. This is the first time I played with them back since uh, I was uh, 80. It was 87, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, I know, Jim. He's gonna start busting my balls now. <laughs> he's been saying here. He's like, "Why don't you do your? Come on, it's your legacy." I, like legacy. Yeah, I told Freddie that, and I actually made a record called Legacy. <laughs> so you can't do that. Look at the Legacy Two. Legacy, Legacy Two. The other, two Legacy. The other leg. <laughs> the other leg. Wow. <laughs> it's the background. <laughs> well, we're sitting Whoa. in a psychedelic background. Right. We've been exactly. It's fucking us up, baby. How excited are you guys about this show? About the Revelation show? I'd say on a scale of excitement, very excited. Yeah. <laughs> Where's the show? Where's the show? Is <laughs> Where's the show? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, a Sunday Barry Electric. Show? Uh, Sunday the Sunday show is at Barry Electric. It should be about uh, the who else? Uh, John Joseph. Is we got John Joseph who's going to do a little spoken word. That's Skyhead. Yeah. Provider from Long Island, yeah. Scarhead, and you guys both are yeah. fine. Scarhead's on yeah. it? Yes, yes sir. Out. You don't have to tell Bob. What the Bob hell? It's well, it's tell John Bob, fuck yeah. that, buddy. Yeah. 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 John Bob, blow me. I'm going to see Scarhead. Oh, that's fucked up. That's a good combo, yeah, Scarhead and Bold, you know? Yeah. Good combo. Yeah. Two bands that are very, uh, yeah, it's old. Cool. <laughs> So what we'll else? What, what else do you guys have in in, in the, in the food right, right now? We were just talking about uh, getting these shows done. First of all, which should be a lot of fun. You know, they're one at the Glass House. And yep. 
It's uh, who puts the dates for those? It's the no, it's yeah, it's the eighth and the ninth of uh, June. We'll be playing uh, with our friends, and all our friends. You know, it's like Gorilla Biscuit, Ethan yeah, Today, Sick of It All, all those guys. And on the seventh, Thursday the seventh, actually, I'm playing with uh, Into Another. We're doing uh, uh, Richie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Richie. Yeah, wow. Richie, you're playing. It's uh, it's a name you know, I we just heard in a while. yeah, we just kind of you know Jordan suggested it. We were like you know thought it'd be for a good. I mean Jordan has really helped us so much. Helped so many bands throughout yeah. like the last 25 years. Yeah. Yeah. That uh, we're like, okay, it sounds like a good thing. So we got this guy Brian who played Ignite, playing guitar, as well as Peter Moses, our original guitar player, and this guy Reed who played Midway. So uh, yeah, it'd be a five piece into another spectacular. Wow. And so, then, uh, the kids out there, Richie is Richie Burke, and right. also from Underdog. Right, exactly. And Underdog, we'll, we'll, Underdog will be playing some shows as well. And also Give Richie from the Knuckles to another the, the New York. And to another, we'll be playing New York probably uh, at, for the Rev thing in October. Oh, I can't wait. Plaza. There is. And, and, uh, it's going to happen. There's a couple of emails going back. We'll probably will do a couple. East Coast shows we're talking about. Awesome to hear, awesome to hear. Yeah. What about new stuff, dude? Jeez. Where's your test press? Collect the test press. Let's take it over to Japan, this guy, with my merch. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on a second. All right, so in the meantime, we'll, we'll continue with you guys, obviously. In the meantime, we have a additional guest calling in. Are you there? No. Yeah, right? Hello? Hey. Hey! Oh, there wow. Here is there? Ray! Here is Ray! The phone? Ray of Youth of the Day on the phone! <laughs> What's going on? Ray, it's Jimmy! How are you, bro? Jimmy Gestapo! Yo! What's up, buddy? How are you, brother? Good, man! You sound like you have an AIDS a day! <laughs> Ray, this is your you life. Gotta see the, you gotta see the wrinkles. <laughs> Oh, I don't, I've seen them play. They're great. <laughs> Ray Capo, this is your life. This is your life. Drew, from, <laughs> from Break Down the Walls. Jimmy, are you hosting? Um, I'm, I'm the host with the most, bro, and I'm always on toast. So what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we're host having a good host. time here. We wish you were in the room, but you feel like you're in the room with us, and you always are with us, brother. We love I you. Moved, thank you, man. I, I moved to the woods. Wow. I've been in New York for the last uh, three years when I moved up here September 1st. Nice, nice. How is it out there? Nice? It's great. You know, it's like that time in my life where I had to just like uh, have little children, so I wanted to get them out of the city and just move to the country, and and, and it was for my own sort of sanity too. So I just chose to get out. So Ray, so Ray loaded up the truck and he moved to the country. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ray, we have we have two of the bold guys with us here in the studio, so you can. Oh, uh, which one? The special one. The special <laughs> ones. I'm uh, the old drummer from Break Down the Walls. I'd like to say hi. Oh, all right. What's happening, Ray? What's up, Drew? How are you? I'm doing well, man. I didn't see I didn't you. Didn't you guys were all gonna be on the. Yeah, yeah, the show. yeah. It's a, it's a big and special today. Tim is here too. And Tim, oh sweet, man, I love those guys. I love and, you guys. And, and the mobs here too. Jack Flanagan and the guys are outside. They just played some of their new stuff. Jack Flanagan, again. I gotta tell that guy thank you because yeah. I always liked that band and I never got to meet and hang out with them. Wow. wow. He's out there smoking cigarettes, shot. which you'd not approve of, my friend. Nor do I. <laughs> That's okay. Can I tell you one of my first shows at CB's, Jimmy? Oh boy, here we go. What? No, no, no. What, what's my first? I'll tell you my, my first one gets a better story than this. My first one was, this was like my third show. It was Mob, Urban Waves, Reagan Youth, and. Yeah, man. And, and, and yeah, the mom had line. Great show. I think you punched somebody in the head that day. <laughs> <laughs> You're mistaken for some other handsome skinhead. <laughs> and I was like, holy sh these guys are serious. What's going on here? <laughs> I've never heard that before from me. Well, you know, I was, what do you call it? I was looking to get into, like, cool punk rock, you know? I was living in Connecticut. And I was like, man, I want to get into punk rock. And then the mom came on stage. I was like, these guys don't look punk rock at all. What's up? But they seem like everybody loves them. <laughs> through like a curveball at what I thought punk rock was supposed to look like. <laughs> so what's going on with you, dude? How's things going? Any new stuff coming out? What's going? What's happening besides the woods? Um, I'm living in the woods and I'm a yoga teacher. <laughs> awesome. Uh, Ray, I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you, have you, I mean, looking towards the, the, the upcoming bowl, have you ever played Webster Hall before? And, and, I, and, I, and when I, you did, when, when was it? It was the Ritz. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. May I tell you what? May I tell you my first experience with Webster Hall? Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. This is, a, this is a good story. It was either, I think it was 1982. I was living in, I grew up in Connecticut, and I was in 10th grade. And I was like, man, I really wanted to get into punk rock. And all I really knew was, you know, 
I had no punk rock guru to tell me what to listen to. So I literally go to the city because my brother lives in ja my brothers at the time lived in Jackson Heights. Queens. Yeah. <laughs> Right by all you guys. That's I didn't right. know anything. <laughs> and I used to go there and stay there, but I didn't know anything about the hardcore scene. So I used to go to New York City and um, just try to figure out, looking around the Village Voice, like what sounds sort of punk. And all I knew was sort of Bleaker Bobs and Free Being Records. No one was telling me anything what to do. So one weekend I went in and I heard two bands that sounded like punk bands. The first one was a the old Ritz, Webster Hall. It was Haircut 100. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if any of you are familiar with Haircut 100. But I was like, all right, maybe this is what punk is nowadays. Maybe it's got out of the Sex Pistols and out of the class, and this is sort of what they're into now. <laughs> but the next step, and I thought, all right, whatever, I'm open. And, you know, there was no, where I grew up, no one even, there was no alternative anything. It was just people playing, like, Led Zeppelin and Rush cover, cover bands. So the next day was the UK subs and the young and the useless at Phoebe's. And that's when I was like, oh my God, everybody's slam dancing. <laughs> oh my God, they're slam dancing. <laughs> and I tell you, the young and the useless inspired me so much because I was like, these guys are my age and they're on stage making their own music. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Amen. And the Young Jesus yeah. became the Beastie Boys. Yeah. Well, and the Young Jesus yeah. became the Beastie Boys. I know, and, and after that show, I was at, right after that show, I said, I'm gonna go home and start a band. And that's when I started wow. Violent Children. I actually sang on the on the 7 inch. Uh, we did our Rise and Shine, and all we do is hang around because we are young and useless. I sang on that 7 inch. Hang around, hang around, do what, do what. Of course he did. It's Jimmy Gestapo. I owe them my punk rock history. <laughs> but, me so much. Woo, awesome then story. The UK, then the UK subs played, and uh, first of all, I was so inspired by slam dancing because I didn't think anybody slammed. I thought it was a thing of the past. <laughs> so I would, uh, and New York had such a unique, specific style. John Watson. That I just, I, I just thought, <laughs> I can tell you a funny story. <laughs> so I, so I was, what do you call it? I actually ordered a drink at the bar and sat down. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sure. Yeah, Wait, it's funny <laughs> that he. It's funny that he said. You know, I was like in tenth grade. I really, you know, I didn't know. What to do. So I sat. I ordered a drink at the bar. Sat down. There's, you know, there's some tables set up there. Yeah. And when the young music started, everybody started a circle pit. I, I looked at my friend who came with me from Connecticut. I go, they're slam dancing. I can't believe they're slam dancing. <laughs> and I had a, I had a long curly mohawk and a long trench coat. And I just started slamming into everybody in the circle. And Jimmy, why don't you tell? the public what happens if some guy in a trench coat yeah. and a long coat yeah. and a long coat yeah. and a long coat and a long coat and a long coat and a long coat where everybody knows each other oh sorry God. dude sorry dude oh. <laughs> it's funny that he says why don't you ask, why don't you ask the DJ how long yeah. I lasted in that pit oh, yeah, well, John yeah. Watson grabbed me by the neck <laughs> I just saw John Watson at the at the Bad Brain show, which is an event in itself, uh, and uh, he was he's looking amazing. He's a, he's like a, he's a grand John Watson is a grandfather. He's a grandfather. Amazing. I heard, that. I heard that. It's funny that you say uh, right now and then. you. So John Watson grabs me by the neck and cocks his arm back, and he doesn't remember that I'm sure, but he grabs me by the neck and gets ready to punch me, and I just look at him and I go, I'm sorry, I'm new to this. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> Ray, listen, it's 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 funny that you say you owe uh, you know your introduction introduction of punk rock to the young and useless. Because me personally I owe my Angel Dust career to the Beastie Boys. So oh, oh. we got something in common there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yin and Yang. Ray so have you ever played Webster Hall Ritz? That was Damien Burns, Burns, the DJ. Don't pay attention to him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, Ray, so have you ever played Webster Hall the Ritz? So <laughs> I also saw Battle Wow that year too. That was before I saw Battle Wow. Ray, uh, Ray, Ray, who did you yeah, play? I played there once with you to today. What? What? You, and, I played with you at that show. Was it? It was that Discharge, was, right? It was that's when DR, Cal, that's when HR. When, yes. When, when Discharge put out that metal record, yeah. and HR from the Bad Brains whipped in yeah, garbage, garbage bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whole garbage bag on the, the stage and. <laughs> oh my God! Fried the whole pet, all the pedals. HR Everything. actually played in uh, Brooklyn on Sunday, and I'm mad at all you hardcore kids because you guys weren't there. HR, oh, sorry, HR. nuts. Let's stick, let's stick with right. Damien, right? Just saying, I'm pissed. <laughs> shall we, yeah, shall we play some more music now? The only show. Okay. Let's get okay. some music going. Let's so how, some, are you yeah, look, let's hold on. Let's play some crippled youth and some Murphy's Law demo. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, we 
hope that you're excited about yeah. this upcoming show, that you're looking forward to this. We appreciate you calling in. And uh, that's it. All Thank right. you so much. Man, we love you, Ray. Ray. I love you, brother. And we'll see you guys in night. You, guys. Yeah, you are with see us, Ray. We all are together yeah. in hardcore. We love you, man. See you Thank you, Ray. I hope to see everybody right here. I'm psyched. Howdy, Bo! Howdy, Bo! Up next, Bolt! Always try on black and blue! Black and blue, take over! <laughs> Hold on for, the, for those names in the next one. Come in for the next one. Then we can talk to Vinny now and put off the phone. Black and Blue Takeover. That was two-man advantage on Saturday night. Before that, your provider turned away. For that bowl, which is here, running like thieves. And we were a gray area, we started that set off. And Bull and Provider, obviously, two of the bands playing May 20th. And obviously. The Bowery Electric. Jesse Mellon's place. Hi, Jesse. I love you. And that was Hold On Tight by Graria. Gray area, though, when we started the set. Graria. Yes. Like Graria. 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 Is that a cheese? Graria. 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 All right, we have another surprise caller. Yes, we do. We do, right? Is, Is he, he out here? Vinny, are you there? Yeah, we have a car, guys. Don't worry. Vinny! This is Vinny hey. from Youth of Judy. Today. What's up? How you doing, bud? Not bad, not bad. I know I'm supposed to be down there, but it's a book of what Puerto Rican vets, and I've forgotten. I am sitting here at my vets in this apartment talking to you guys. But I've been nice having me on either way. Well, it's like the, it's the youth of the day, guys, they just don't come in. They just call. Ray yeah, call, and you call. I have real intention to come in hanging out, Kenny. My buddy there got me into all this. I uh, was down there with you guys, and luckily he called me while I was on the phone with my mom and uh, reminded me that I was supposed to be there, so... Are you are you calling from your mountain hideaway also, like Ray just did? Uh, yeah, if my mountain hideaway is my 250 square foot apartment in Bethesda. Yeah, that's that's, that's a nice that's nice. That's about the size of a good storage space now. Yeah, it's not much bigger than your studio over there. I've seen it, so uh, <laughs> I got my yeah I got my stuff in here, but I, I make it do what it do, you know. <laughs> Vinny, are you looking forward to this uh, to this show? Very very much so, man. You know, I've been the last four or five years and you guys always do a good job and now you guys just, you know, I thought West was a great place to play. Last year was amazing, but yeah, I'm stoked as hell, man. You know, the other man's gonna be on it. You know, it's an honor, it's an honor to have us, uh, for you guys to have us there. So, uh, thank you for, uh, for bringing us out, man. It's been a great time. Well, it's an honor to have you guys, you know. And the honor is shared with the Black and Blue family. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, for sure, man, for sure. It's <laughs> a good time. It's a really good time. Well, I'm glad you called us in real quick, Vinny. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, we talked to Ray earlier, as I told you. Yeah, uh -huh. and uh, he told us uh, some good little stories some about great fucking stories about some shows and the clubs here and there. You got you got any good stories for us you want to share? I hope they're not about me punching anybody like Ray told. <laughs> the, the, the only the only interested well, I mean there's a ton of interesting ones I can talk about those guys, but uh, but they're all they're all good they're all TV don't worry. But uh, oh, listen, this is, is this is streaming radio. We, you can say whatever you want. I, I can say whatever I want. But the funny thing is, is that, you know when I got involved in all this, I met Tim. You know who was there before. Uh, you know, at, a, at that 584 practice space on East Avenue, I tell a lot of people this story, but, you know, I walked by and he said, I look familiar, and he's like, yeah, you can't any, uh, play any, play any hardcore bands, and, you know, I'm, I'm on just turning 30 in a month, so I told him, no, man, I was, I was six, seven years old at the time, so there was no way, he's like, oh, well, well, not long, so he says, oh, I played the Bulls and Crippled Butte, and, you know, I just see the Tayreens, and, you know, straight edge kids, you know, I'm obviously, like, blown away, I thought it was the coolest thing, and then, uh, that's how he pulled me into the whole deal when they did the, uh, the reunion, back in 2005 and stuff, that's, uh, that's when they pulled me in, so from him I met, you know, Purcell and Ray and then got to uh, demystify these, you know, hardcore legends and see that they were just Italians from around the way, it's just like me, which is a nice thing, so. Just a bunch of guys that like hummus and hardcore. Yeah, hummus exactly, and hardcore. exactly, that's what we all took into at one point, you know. So. And we got the hummus for you guys for the show, whenever you're ready, we got a gallon. Oh, good. Yeah, you know, it was on the rider, I'm sure, so hummus Yeah, yeah, that's all gallon, gallon of hummus. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. That's a new so. song coming out pretty soon on the new Youth of Today EP. Yeah, Gallon of Hummus. That's why I'm home. You know, I was talking about the lyrics. I'm working on my little, you know, uh, my electronic drum set right here. I'm trying to kick out some beats. Nothing wrong and with I'm that. Kick out some beats. I mean, the same fast beat and then mosh beat that we do in every song. Yo, we got our brother Damien Burns. He rocks the beats. I was just going to say the same thing. <laughs> you want to hear one? Here it go. No, no, thank you, David. Uh, leave it be. Vinny, <laughs> thank you very much for taking the time to call, to call, uh, to call in. Definitely. And um, we are 
gonna play you the day song next, and we would love you to drop that for us. Yeah, come on, bro. Sure, no problem. So, uh, this is Bank Music. Today, you're listening to the Black Sea Blue Takeover on EastVillageRadio.com. Up next is I Have Two. Yeah! Yeah! Hey! Here we go. Wise up. Bold. For that, we got out check with crime related art. The A team, watch me lose control. Get that off with the mob. The Zook Room. Crucial. Zook Room. Yes, of course. All right, people, this is it. Thank you so much. Coming into the end of another great show. Hopefully, next week, Cousin Joe and Busky will be back from Puerto not, Rico. Not Busky. He will not be here. He will still be in Puerto Rico. Man. But Cousin gotta, Joe will be here. I got to come with you. You're always on vacation. Yeah. Vacation, right. huh? Always on vacation. What the hell is that about? Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to send these people at East Village Radio. Info at EastVillageRadio.com. Emails. Tell them you like us. Tell your you friends like about us. us. Tell your friends about us. Tell them you like the Black Moon Takeover. Get the app. When you see our bands, buy a t-shirt. When you see us at the shows, buy us drinks. Exactly. The main thing is, is buy into hardcore, because hardcore your, loves we you. We are here for your entertainment that we need to support to make sure we can keep on entertaining you. Like a jockstrap of Are love. we entertaining? Yes, we are entertaining. We're infotaining. Right. We're doing that too. All right, this is it, guys. Make sure to stay tuned for Metal Inquisition and our buddy Tooth. And uh, we'll talk to you guys next Tuesday. Love you guys. Brothers out there, we love you too. Take care. Yo, West Coast. Bye.